Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Umber Pro here, and welcome to the RPG Maker MV tutorial. This is going to be showing you how to make a quest. So then, so here's what you're going to be making. Uh, as you can see, we talked to this dude. He's like, excuse me, can you help with something? So uh, he asked you to help him find some herbal uh, things, and the reward would be 500. Thanks so much. Uh, if you accept, he asks if you found them yet, and he checks, and if you have not, then no. Anyways, uh, I don't have any sort of animated herb graphic, so I just kind of went with this little animation here. Found an herb! So the, uh, the goal is to find three herbs. And here we go. So once you've found all three herbs, you can come back, talk to him. He's like, thank you so much. And you get 500G. Afterwards, you can talk to him again. He says, thank you so much for helping me. And he rewards you with $500. So then, what you uh, need to do first is go into your database and go to the items and make yourself an herb item. Um, make it a regular item, occasion, never, and don't make it consumable. The description, you can give it a quest item description if you want. A uh, quest item used for medicine. Alright, so next, uh, we're going to actually make the little pickup herb event. So, for the herb little, the little herb pickup event thing, you want to have a switch. Uh, so you want to check switch, and you want to make two switches. One called herb quest one started, and one called herb quest one complete. Select the one, um... Select the herb quest one started. I make sure it's checked here, and then make another uh, event page by clicking up here, new event page. And then check the cell switch A and make sure that it has no graphic. Now back on the first tab where you select the switch, what you want to do is show some text saying you found an herb. Add the item herb by one, and then control cell switch A, turn it on. This can be done through here. Control cell switch. And you select A, and turn it on. Copy and paste out a few times until you have the desired amount that you want to be collected. In this case, it was three. So, there's a total of three. One, two, three. Copy and paste it a couple times, and we're good. Now, you want to make the little person event here. You want to give them a graphic. And this is where it looks a little complicated, but it's not. Trust me. I'll, I'll, I'll explain it in a way that makes sense. So, first thing you want to do is go to Conditional Branch here in the first tab. And you want it to look like this. You want to select Switch, and you want to select the Quest 1 Started. You want to check and see if it's on. You also want to check the Else branch down here. Afterwards, right underneath that, you will show some text asking if you found them yet. Then, you're going to do Control Variables, and you're going to make a variable called Herbs. You're going to set it equal to Game Data Number of Item Herb. Uh, you can do this by clicking here in the control variables thing right here. Next, we are going to do another conditional branch. We're going to check if the variable herbs is greater than or equal to 3. And then also create the else branch. Now, we're going to do we're going to controls uh, we're going to turn the quest complete on and we're going to show some text saying thank you. We're going to take away the three herbs, and then we're also going to change the gold uh, to 500. We're going to increase by 500, and then say some or show some text saying that you got 500 gold. Underneath the else section, he says you don't have them all yet. So um, underneath the other else here, this is the else for if, if the quest hasn't been started yet. You show some text um, explaining the quest. Uh, you show the reward text. Let's see, it's right here. Like this. And show choices, yes or no. So choices can be found here. It's like yes and no. And when yes, you control, you, you okay, you turn the quest one started on by uh, doing control switches and turning it on. And show some text saying thank you so much. When no, he simply says, oh, okay then. Now on the other event page here, you want to you want to select switch and you want to say herb quest one complete is on. When it's on, he will say, thank you for helping me. Make sure it has the same graphic as well. And there you go. That's all there is to it. That's how you make a very simple uh, quest for your game. Now, you can get a little bit more complex with this if you want and make it a bit more interesting. It's up to you. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching. Peace out.